of course, we can't ignore the big release this week, guys. Cats and Dogs 3 on Blu-ray and DVD. What is up, guys? Welcome to Mid-Level Media. It is time for another epic Blu-ray hunt on the Mid-Level Media channel. I'm so excited to be out here today. Thank you guys for joining me. I, I've got a lot of stuff planned for today. We're going to hit up some Best Buys. We're going to hit up some Targets. We're going to go to the Walmart. You know, the three usual suspects. I also, I'm going to throw in a little bit of a surprise that we'll get to a little later in the video. I don't want to spoil it, but I've got something planned, something new, something fun um, that I'm going to do with you guys here today. But I'm outside of Best Buy right now. Of course, we've got tons of new Steelbooks that came out this week. We got Home Alone, Hocus Pocus on 4K, both with Steelbooks. We got Goodfellas. Um, on Steelbook, we got, uh, I'm pretty sure there's another one. I, I can't think of, oh yeah, 21, 22 Jump Street coming out in 4K. They both got a Steelbook. Um, tons of stuff to probably, hopefully catch a glimpse at. I'm doing this a day later. Um, I said it a couple of weeks ago. I went on Tuesday. They didn't put anything out. I'm hoping to catch more glimpses of stuff um, here on Wednesday on my trip. But I already know right now, I'm probably not going to catch a glimpse of that Hocus Pocus Steelbook because those things fly off the shelf. Um, like no other, just like that one that came out a few years ago did, but that Book of the Dead one, uh, edition of it. So, um, other stuff that came out today, we had Becky that came out on Blu-ray today. Um, we had some Vestron uh, video releases, Shivers and Little Monsters came out on Blu-ray today. Tons of stuff that I'm, co I'm hoping to uh, catch a glimpse of in stores today. But thanks for joining me, guys. Let's go ahead and get in there. Uh, we're at our first location, Best Buy. Let's do it. We are here, everybody. The Steel Book mecca of the world best buy and i'm trying out a different best buy today so hopefully i have some luck guys as you see we have the hocus pocus 4k no steel but those are gone see the home alone 4k they do have the 21 22 jump street uh steel book they have this nightmare on elm street steel book it's pretty cool um no good fellas 4k that's all out so Looks like they're all out. We can check in the regular section though. Guys, they do have this Rocky Horror Picture Show steelbook. That is a cool looking steelbook. $14.99. Um, they have the 21 Jump Street, 22 Jump Street 4Ks. Um, let's see. That's all I'm seeing. They do have Becky here. Becky is only $12.99. That's a good price. It's not a bad price at all for a new Blu-ray. $12.99. Let's look over in the section real quick, guys. See if there's any deals. Let's see, we got an American Sniper with a slipcover for seven bucks. That might be a good pickup. Um, let's see. Oh, God. Just get rid of it. Just, no. You, that's why they have so many of these steelbooks, because this movie is a fucking abomination. Get it out of here. Uh, let's see, they have The Art of Self-Defense for $14. It's not bad. That was a pretty good movie. This cool uh, Big Trouble Little China slipcover. They had those before, those, um, I think they're Fox slipcovers. Uh, Three from Hell on Blu-ray. You got a double back of 21, 22 Jump Street for 13 just the Blu-rays, though. Ad Astra right now in 4K is $13. That's not bad. Alright, looks like they still got that jerk. Ready or not for 10 bucks. I might actually get that. Got a big TV deal, guys. Two TV seasons for 20 bucks. If you're a DC fan, they got all kinds of cool uh, DC stuff. Funny how they have a Planet of the Apes set for $45, and I actually got that for five bucks at big lots all right guys so just got out of the best buy saw saw a lot of cool stuff they didn't have the steel books for home alone and hocus pocus but i kind of expected that um so we didn't get a chance to catch a glimpse of those i do have images for those if you want to see them on my physical media report which i posted up on monday um so you guys can check that out if you want to see the images but no in-person shots of those so a little disappointing, but I knew those were going to go fast. Um, I did get the regular 4K images. Uh, they did have the 2122 Jump Street Steelbook, the 4Ks. Um, Becky, they had a lot of stuff in there, so a lot of stuff was still stock. So um, overall, I was pretty satisfied. I did pick up this movie, which is an old movie. Um, well, it's not like real old, but it came out earlier this year, I think, on Blu-ray, and that's Ready or Not. 
Um, this is a fun horror movie um, from last year that I enjoyed. I was I didn't want to pay 20 bucks when it came out on Blu-ray, but $10 with the slipcover, nice pickup for sure. Um, but that's all I got in there. I didn't want Hocus Pocus or um, Home Alone in 4K. I don't need those in 4K. I have perfectly good Blu-rays of those. So, um, But yeah, guys, let's go ahead and zoom to our next location, and that's going to be the surprise location. going to go there uh, next. So I'll see you when we get there. All right, guys, so I'm at my next location right now, my surprise location. I'm, we've been here before. I'm back at a half-price books, um, getting ready to go in there and look for some Blu-rays and DVDs. But I have an interesting... Um, stipulation for this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call this the half price books challenge I'm gonna go in there I'm gonna see how many blu-rays or DVDs that I can get for just the money that's in my wallet right now so let's see let's see what money I have in my wallet right now I, I've got nine dollars I've got nine dollars cash money in my wallet right now so let me go into half price books and see just how many blu-rays and DVDs I can buy for nine dollars maybe hit up some clearance sections i'm gonna try to get some quality stuff not all trash I'll, I'll see if i can get some quality films but join me in half price books guys i'm gonna try to get a little bit of footage pick some movies up show you guys what i picked up when i get out into the half price books we go <laughs> What's up guys, so I just got out of the Half Price Books and uh, I didn't get a ton of footage in there. It was kind of crowded, there was a lot of people in there. Um, before I show you guys <laughs> what I picked up, I'm pissed. Uh, let me tell you guys why I'm pissed. So I'm in there, I'm looking at the clearance rack. There is a set of all five uh, super, uh, Superman films, um, the, all four of the Christopher Reeve ones and Superman Returns in a DVD set, I know it's DVD, um, for $3. So. I don't own any of those films. I've never seen any. Uh, I've seen Superman Returns. I haven't seen the Christopher Reeve one, so it's going to be a good way for me to watch them all um, for cheap, for $3. And I set it down to go uh, <laughs> film some spots in the place. I didn't want to be carrying the set. And when I went back to grab it, like two minutes later, it was gone. So somebody came and snatched that up really fast. But my $9 movie challenge was a success. I ended up grabbing six films in the store. So... Again, guys, I don't care if I grab DVDs at this point. I just, I kind of want movies in my collection. I don't care if they're DVD, Blu-ray, 4K. Um, I'm not so precious about all of that uh, anymore. Just cool movies to find. Uh, I'm going to pick them up. So, but I did grab one Blu-ray and it was Sin City. Um, so I don't own Sin City. I, I love this. I, I've seen it. I remember seeing it in theaters in 2005 being completely blown away. I used to have it on DVD, but I actually sold it when I sold all my DVDs a few years ago. So I went ahead and updated to the Blu-ray. So looking forward to checking this one out again at some point. I'm sure it looks great on uh, HD. All right. So the next five I'm going to go over all... Um, all of these are DVDs, so Half Price always runs great deals. They have a clearance section for a dollar. Sometimes you'll find them still in their packaging. They haven't even taken them out. So all these DVDs were a dollar. The Sin City was four dollars, so nine dollars for all of these movies. Um, I grabbed The Beautiful Mind on DVD, and this is some kind of a special edition set um, for a dollar. So I've never seen this. So it, you know, again, guys, if it's a movie I've never seen and I don't want to buy the Blu-ray for uh, just yet because I've never seen it. And a lot of these Blu-rays run like six, seven, eight, nine dollars on um, on Amazon. So if I've never seen it, why spend 10 bucks to get the Blu-ray or six dollars to rent it? I might as well just grab the DVD and watch the movie, you know? Um, again, guys, another one, When a Stranger Calls, the remake. I think that came out in 2006. So I have a pretty large horror DVD collection. That's one genre I don't mind collecting DVDs for because horror kind of lends itself to lower quality, I think, just in my opinion. Um, so I do have the old uh, Stranger Calls on uh, Blu-ray. I just got it from uh, Mill Creek Entertainment a few months ago. So I I think I've seen this, but I'm not sure. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch this at some point, though. Next up, guys, this is a really cool find. I remember these movies from when I was a kid. They honestly used to creep me the hell out um, when I used to watch them. But I got uh, Subspecies, um, Bloodstone, Subspecies 2. 
for a dollar. So like this is this is actually a pretty cool cover. It's the subspecies, the Epic Collection. Um, so yeah, I'm interested in checking out this film again and seeing how it ages. Because when I was a kid, these movies used to scare the crap out of me. Uh, disappointing they didn't have the first one though. I would have liked to grab both of them, but I'll, I'll settle for another cool horror DVD in my collection. Next up, guys, like I said, I've been on a Tim Burton kick. I've never seen this Tim Burton film. It's a musical. I've heard it, it's pretty decent, but Sweeney Todd I found on uh, DVD, so I went ahead and picked that up, and I'm going to be giving this a watch sometime soon. I watched Sleepy Hollow not too long ago. Um, really enjoyed that one, so I'm going to dig into that. And the last one, guys, this is a Best Picture winner, uh, American Beauty from 1999. This is one of my favorite films. This ended up on my top 50 of all time list on my Instagram page. Love this movie. Uh, one of the best. Uh, yeah, Kevin Spacey or no Kevin Spacey, he's great in the movie. Uh, the, the movie's fantastic. One of the best of all time by uh, director Sam Mendes. So um, I've been meaning to pick up the Blu-ray copy of this because I want it, but I, I just wanted it in my collection now, and it was a dollar, so I grabbed it. I can watch it whenever I want. Um, so that's cool, guys. Like I said, I, I got some quality titles here. Um, and not all crap, you know. I got two Best Picture nominated uh, winning movies. I got a Tim Burton film. I got Robert Rodriguez's Sin City, so a cool kind of comic book graphic novel film. So some good pickups today at the half price. It was successful. All these movies for $9. I'm going to be doing more stuff like this because it's kind of fun to kind of budget myself and uh, go in there and see how much I can get for a, a low price. There was a lot of deliberating in there, um, a lot of decision making that went into it. It took way too long, but and that Superman thing just pissed me off too. So, um, But I hope you guys enjoyed that segment. Let's go ahead and move on to Target and finish the video out. All right, Target, let's see what you got today. Kind of interesting they have this Best Buy Clueless Steelbook in here. All right, guys, so nothing. All right, Target, I see you. I see you. You don't care about your physical media. All right, guys, I'm coming out of Target, and yeah, they uh, they suck. They, they don't care about their physical media. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm upset. Didn't even have their Hocus Pocus 4K out. Home Alone 4K, they had spots for it. Be Becky, they had spots for it. Um, yeah, they, they they don't care. And to be honest, um, I'm a little pissed at Target right now. But uh, let's go ahead and go to Walmart, see if we have better luck there. All right, Walmart, don't let me down. Let's do it. Oh, guys, here we go. They have those Vestron videos at Walmart. Little Monsters and the Shivers. Um, with the Dem uh, DMX movie right in the middle. <laughs> uh, so that's really cool. I ordered them off of uh, uh, Amazon. So yeah, if I'd known that, I just got them here. But that's cool if they actually have the restaurants here. And of course, we can't ignore the big release this week, guys. Cats and Dogs 3 on Blu-ray and DVD. Looks like they have a spot for Becky, but the DVD only. They got some stuff. Mighty Oak. I don't know what that is. Let's see. Guys, they have the Nun on Blu-ray for seven bucks here at Walmart. Murder on the Orient Express. Hellboy with a slipcover for ten dollars, eight dollars. Forty-seven meters down on Cage for five. Not a bad deal. I don't think we got a glimpse of this uh, Psycho Blu-ray last week. That is a cool cover. I'm not gonna. I already have enough editions of Psycho on Blu-ray. I'm not gonna grab it, but that is a cool cover. All right, guys, so not a whole lot in Walmart going on here today. Let's get out of here, guys. All right, guys, so that does it for the Blu-ray trip. Yeah, it was pretty cool that they were selling those Vestrons in there. Um, and I've seen people posting them online, so I already knew they were at Walmart. They did the same thing with the Maximum Overdrive, which was the last Vestron that they released um, in Walmart. But, yeah, for only $13, uh, Vestron does some really good work with their, with their stuff, so I imagine these are going to be good as well. But... Um, yeah, another successful Blu-ray hunt in the books, guys. Um, yeah, some of the stores didn't have all their stuff out, so basically Target and Walmart, they suck. Uh, Best Buy's still cool with me. They, they did some good work today. Half Price Books, I'm still cool with those guys, even though somebody stole my uh, Superman 5 film set. Still a little hurt, uh, still a little sore about that one right there, but uh, I definitely appreciate you guys joining me here today. You know, we got to try something new. Let me know in the comments below how you like that little... Um, half price uh, challenge that I did where I just kind of showed you how much money I was going to spend and uh, I saw how many movies I could get with it. So I got six movies for, for $9. So that was pretty cool. Let me know how you like that. Um, let me know if you picked anything up this week. Hocus Pocus on, on 4K, Home Alone, the 21 Jump Street movies. 
uh, if you capitalize on those Vestrons at Walmart, let me know in the comments below uh, what you're interested in picking up. What did you pick up? I would love to hear about it and have a conversation. And I, I definitely appreciate you guys joining me here today. Come on over to Levels of Geek uh, tonight. We're doing a live show where we're going to be reacting to the new Mandalorian Season 2 trailer. And we're also going to be doing a topic, either best directors or best actors, as voted on by the Levels of Geek community. So definitely come on over there. Check out our live show tonight. All the links for that is down below. Check me out on Instagram at Mid-Level Movie Reviews and Mid-Level Media. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Like the video, uh, comment down below, all that great stuff, and we'll see you next time.